basically the Mishnah we saw yesterday. The Mishnah we saw yesterday was up to the Mishnah on pay pay on the days. The part of the Karim Pesach went outside of of, of uh, Yushalayim. If part of the Pesach went outside Yushalayim, then it would be Epsil uh, Yitza. So you have a problem, but the Etzim is true boy. So what do you do? You peel it, the meat, go up to the joint, you cut it by the joint. So you're not breaking the bone, you're able to go ahead and take off the meat that's not, not that's Yitza. Yitza, Mukomo, and Eza were on Pei Hei on the days of Mishnah. And Eva, she got some Mitzasa and Eva that went out partially from Yushalayim. You go ahead and cut till you reach the bone, but you don't break the bone. The coal, if you then peel away the meat, till you get to the joint. You go ahead and cut the joint. Because there's a, we have to cut by the joint, not the bone, because the mitzvah of Etzim Leisish Beruvoy. However, if it's Mokdashim, if it's a regular carbon and that goes out, and you have B'sul Yaitza, then Koytzis Bikupitz, you take a cleaver and you go ahead and just chop it off right at that point. And you don't have to do go ahead and do clipa to peel away the meat. Shame by Mikshum Shvius Etzem, because no Shvius Etzem. What's considered inside outside? Mina Agafal of Nim, from the door jam and out, it's con- in, in, it's considered in. Mina Agafal of Chutz, kill a Chutz. When you close the door, yes, let's say let's say it's a big door, right? So when you close it, the the part that becomes covered up by the door is, con- is called the Aga. It's visible when the door is swung open, and it's, cl- and it's not visible when the door is closed. So from from that point, I got inside. It's considered part of the you know, so you know, from the agaf, the edge of the agaf, and outside, it's considered psulyotza. Min agaf luchutz kolchutz hachaloynos the windows of the oyve achoyim or klifnim, the windows and the oyve achoyim and the and the thickness of the wall are, are considered inside. So the chaim is rishalayim or of the azara, the azara these be kachik kedoshim and and the. Uh, and the walls you explain kachim kalim, they would be considered kachim. It would be considered kaidesh, and you'll be able to eat your carbon there. So in other words, those are giving us the limits of where the outskirts of the Yushalayim is and of the Azar. Amr Avi Yudam Rav. V'chein tefila hu adin le'in tefila, says Rashi, ha'oymi mina agav l'fnim et starf la'asara. Someone standing from the agav inside can be part of the minion. V'oymi chutz l'chutz l'pesach aim et starf. And if you're outside the, the opening, then it's not mitzvah. That's Rashi. Let's see Tysus for a second. The, the third Tysus in the bottom, in the middle of Tysus is Venera Lari. We're speaking the Indian to be able to the ability to make Kedusha because Tysus says once you're on the move, basically you're counted. And the Heshmei Rabba Mavara. So he learns still from the Rashi. Okay, so it says the says the Machloik is Rashi and Tysus is Chaim Tfila. And and Uplika the Rishuv and Levi and Rav Agus the Rishuv and Levi because he says it's no mechitza, no Rishuv and Levi. I feel the mechitza shall basal in our seconds when Yisrael love in Shabbos Shemayim. Nothing can be mas. Now how good for kasha regarding the agaf, right? It's, it's a kasha, guys. We just discussed the agaf inside, the agaf outside. What about the agaf itself? What about that area itself? In other words, you close the door. That's agaf so from the outside. That's agaf luchutz, and inside that's agaf luchnim. Now, what about the agaf itself? That's the part that's closed that you don't see. That's not visible when the door is closed. So we're going to have steris based upon inferences. Says the Gemari, the mission inherently is tver. Hagufakash inherently is tver. I'm on one hand, you just told me mina agaf ulefnim klifnim from the agaf inside. It's like the outside. Mashmaha agaf atzmoi, the area that's that's not visible is kilechutz. Aim a sefer. What's the diak of the sefer? Mina agaf ulechutz kilechutz from the agaf and the chutz. It's like the outside. Agaf atzmoi, but the agaf itself is kilifnim. So, in other words, the inference from the ratio, the agaf is is considered is considered outside. The inference from the seifa is considered inside. So it's more like kasha, no problem. Kan b'shari azara, kan b'shari yushalayim. There's difference between the shorim of the azara and the shorim yushalayim. Then Rosh Hashanah Yitzchak they malay in the skachu shari yushalayim. Why the 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 dates of yushalayim not 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 kodesh? But they have so when it speaks about the agaf ulef nim and outside is that's speaking about Yerushalayim. When it says agaf luchus lef nim is kilef nim, that's speaking about the base of Mikdash. Now why weren't they mekadesh the the shorim Yerushalayim because the mitzrayim because the mitzrayim that was sent out two machmas right. So they sent out a machmas shchina and they sent a machlavia outside Yerushalayim is considered what machna mach machni Yisrael. So malis kach yishor Yerushalayim if nesh mitzrayim maginim tachteim the chama they would take. They would take a uh, comfort there in the shade, protection from the sun. If they are chamel, the gshamim. If they are gshamim, Rambam Shulah Yitzchak. If they malin, it's got to be sharing yiknor. So this is speaking about 
when you walk up to Yerushalayim, you walk up to Beis Nikdash, you'd enter into the as what's called the Ezus Nashim, and you'd walk up to oval steps and go up to the steps, the fifteen of them, and you would get to Shar Nikna. It's the it's Shar Nikna. We'll see in Yuma that a mess happened with these doors. They were thrown off the ship and they floated and they ended up in the port of Mako. They floated up from underneath the ship. So they were called Shar after the person Nikna who donated them. So Shar Nikna, the Shar Nikna, if they Suroyim Oyim Bimsham. Uh, it's not Kaidish because the Mitzrayim would stand there and Machnisim Bahoinas Yodam. Mitzrayim, after the seven days of going ahead and and um, purifying themselves, they'd come there, they'd come there, they the Machusiki Purim. Machusiki Purim weren't allowed into the Zara proper, right? So therefore, they, but they had to stick their fingers yeah. in for the process of having blood and oil put on top of them. So it wasn't a Skadish to allow the Machusika Para of Mitzrayim to enter there. So outside Yerushalayim for the Mitzrayim, inside Yerushalayim for the for different reasons. We said that the Chalonis and Abichayma, they had it, they were Kodesh. They, they were Kodesh, they had dinner kosher. So again, eating, eating, you, if, you're, if you're eating your carbon Pesach, you'll be able to eat, eat sitting in a window or, 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 uh, or in the thick, on top of the wall, maybe. We'll see. Omar Rav. Gagin ve'aliyos loy niskatsu. The rooftops and the aliyos are not in the Rashi says, the Gag and Aliyah slain the Skatshu, Ben Gagi Rishalayim, Bekdusha Shishalayim, the Kachim Kalim, Ben Gagi the Shokai, so Azora, the Chambers of Azora, Bekdusha Azora, the Kadusha's Kachi Kadoshim. So regarding Achila or, or Achila of Kadish Kadoshim uh, in, in, the, in the Azora or Achila of Kachim Kalim, Yushalayim, you cannot eat it on the roof of your house. You know, people, again, remember, guys, those days they used the roof for Ishtamshas, right? We had almost after Erevin regarding the roof, the tops. If it's considered to be Shuya, it's good ach, it's good ach, it's good ach, it's good ach, you recall it, and it you probably don't. But it was, a, it was like this and like this, and there was a view in the window going down. Do we say the, the walls go up? They use the roofs. They use their flat roofs and they use them. So, the, you know, to us, we think eating on a roof is bizarre, right? No one's going to eat on a roof. But if it's a flat roof in your house, you have, you have a lot of space, people eat it. Or if you're a Cubs fan and you're Wrigley Field, you want to watch from across the street, left field, right? They, they would watch, uh, they, they would watch from there. Waverly Place. Waverly Place. Tells boy. Okay. It, it tells them. What? Maybe none of us were alive when the programs was there. When you're dating yourself. When did the Giants leave? 57? 55? Okay, I think it might be 57. I might be wrong. What? Back to the Halo Now, so it says the Gemara, what's the over here? The Gagin and the Aliyas and the addicts were not in Scottish, therefore you could not eat your Kotchim on the roof. In is really sort of tell me that Aliyas and Scotland is Kotchu, the Omara, the Shumra Bhia, Kizisa Pisra, the Halila Paka Igra. It would eat the Kazais of Pesach, a lot of people. And the and the halal that they would recite would break the roof. Mashma, they're eating the current Pesach on the roof. So you see, it is the Scottish. How in the world can you go ahead and eat it on, on the roof? It's not the Scottish. You see, it is the Scottish. Kasha, you just told me not the Scottish. Here you see eating on the roof. My love, Fred the Gemara, Amir Aleph, the Ochli Beigra, that you ate it on the roof. The Amri Beigra, and you said halal on the roof. So you see, you could eat it on the roof. If you're eating the current Pesach on the roof, it must have a din of what of you Shalayim vis a vis. Eating kachim says Merloy, the achli ba'ara you ate it on the ground in your house. The imri be'igra, but when it came to going ahead and and, and saying halal, you had the halal that we say after the achilah saw happy koyin, they after the current pesach went on the roof again. The happy koyin is connected to pesach and the halal we say afterwards, so they went up afterwards. In is really so that you could be able to go ahead and eat one place and go, go up. I have a tanan a maftir nachar pesach happy koyin. Right, for Amar Rav, Shelo Yaakru Mechabur LeChabur, you shook off one Chabur, the other Chabur. Says Rashi, guys. But Amar Rav, three lines down. Afi Koyimin is Loshin Hoitziu Kelechem, taking out your Kelem. Guys, you want to know what Afi Koyimin stands for? According to Rashi, Afiku Minaihu in Loshin in, in Aramaic. Afik means to take out. Minaihu means a mana, means your kli. Afiku Afiko Mon, it's contraction. Afik Afik. Minai, right? Some people think it's a Greek word, right? Here we see that what, according to this, it's a contraction of the Hebrew word of Afik Minayu. And what happened? Mikan, Mikan, the Melech from Lechel Oy Bechabur Acheres. So, Eim Aftir and Acher Pesach Afikoimen. 
So and that means you should go from one Chabura to, to, to another Chabura. It says the Gemara, there's a difference. What does that mean? That you can't go from one Chabura to another Chabura? That's, after you, that's before you finish here. That's before you finish. Like Kasha. Kam B'Shas you can't go from one Chabura to another Chabura. Kam B'Shas You know what the Kasha is? How can you go from the uh, go from the house to the roof? You're going from one Chabura to another Chabura. And the answer is, there's no problem with that because I finished eating the carbon Pesach already. When is the problem going from one Chabura to another Chabura? When I didn't finish my, eating my carbon Pesach. When I finished eating my carbon Pesach, then you could go out from one, we go from the house to the roof. So, no, you know what I'm saying? The half mean is that you can't eat up there. It's not, it doesn't have to be yeah. in the house. It's all in the sky. She didn't get Kedusha. Yeah, I they had to give, you, the, the, you had to give something Kedusha. You had to have a Kedusha, right? It has to be, in the has to be that you might mark the shit for that. In other words, when you, there was actions that they did to give it Kedusha. You don't say it's Kodesh. They, they walked around. There's a whole, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a ceremony. Yeah, it was a, it was a ceremony to mark the when they were Magdish Yushalayim, that was the root point of it or not? And the answer, Rav's saying it's not. Rav's saying it's not. It be no, 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 no. Well, well, no. Once, 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 once it was Kaidish, it's Kaidish. Once it's Kaidish, it's Kaidish. They, 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 once they were Magdish. It, they only Magdish house inside the house. The, the, Yushalayim proper, right? And I have a bench in front of my house. I can't that, that you definitely could. That's Yushalayim. The roof, the roof, the roof is not. They weren't on this roof. I mean, I, they weren't Magdish. In whatever you think in your mind is not what they did. In other words, the ground, place on the ground, feet on the ground, bench on the ground, that is usually improper. Rooftops not. Abia, rooftops not. There was what they were not. They were around the ship. Toshma. Abishol Oimer, Aliyah's base Kotche Kedoshim. What about the attic and the top of the Kotche Kedoshim? Right? Chamuri base Kotche Kedoshim. It's even more Chamur than the Kotche Kedoshim itself. Why? She base Kotche Kedoshim, Koyen Godel, Nichlas Loi, Pamachas Bishana. The Kohen God will go into what? The Kodesh Kedoshim once a year on, on, on Yom Kippur. They went only once in seven years. Others say two times in seven years. Once in 50 years. And why would they go up there at all? To see maintenance, the infrastructure, if needed help. The bottom line is, you see it's Kodesh. And this is the Heichel. And this is the Aliyah. So now, you said before, Rab, the Agad and Aliyos, they were not Magdish. Here you see that what? It was even more severe, a more level of Kedusha, the Aliyah of the Heichel. Okay, the Gemara, not them for the Gemara, an obvious question. Amr Rabbi Yosef, may Heichel make him Venesa Vinish? You're sitting up, sitting on the roof, sitting on the, uh, the Heichel, and you're asking Kashis? Shiny Heichel. Heichel is different than the, the rooftops of Yishalayim. Yichsev, it says, Vayitin Dabr, the Shloimai Benoi, is Tavis Ulam. David gave to Shlomo his son the blueprint of the Ulam, the S. Batov and its structures, the S. Ganzokov and its treasuries, the Ali Yosov and its attics, the Chadorov, Hapinimius and its inner rooms, Ubez HaKapoires and the house of the Kapoires, Ukasiv, Hakol, Bixav, Miyad, Hashem, Eli Haskil. All of these were given exactly from Akadish Baruch Hu. So the Aliyah of the Heichel was given by Hashem. Of course it's Kardesh. We're speaking about the rooftops of Yerushalayim. We're not speaking about the Heichel. It's not a Kasha. Rav, when he says the Gagna Aliyah, so not Kardesh, he's speaking about Yerushalayim. Ah, you see the Aliyah of the Heichel is, is Kardesh. Hey, that was given to, to a Dabra Melech exactly by a Kardesh Baruch Hu. Toshma, HaLeshokos HaBanuyas B'Kardesh. There were chambers that were built in the Kardesh. Upsuchos L'Choyel. And they were open to the Harabayas. So in other words, to get in there, you went to the, you had to go through the Harabayas. Toichen Choyel, the halacha is the inside is Choyel. It's not Kodesh, guys. The inside is Choyel, because it's opening to Choyel. However, the guy goes, say him Kodesh. So you see the gag is Kodesh. So Tegmo Rav is Chasi, Chav Chisto, Yishago Gago say in Shav Makarko. It's speaking where the gag of this Lishko was, was as the Beis HaMikdash, you elevate it, it was level to the ground. The grade made it level to the ground. So the roof guys had a din of the rit spot and a din of the floor. And the floor certainly was Kodesh. So we're answering the Kasha. You want to say the Aliyah is, uh, is not Kodesh. You see over here the Aliyah is Kodesh. The Gag is Kodesh. You want to say the Gag, right? Yeah, you see the Gag is Kodesh. That's because the Gag had a din one of the Shogay Makaka Azara. Yahaki Ema Seifa, Nuyas Conversely, if it's built in the Choil, it's built outside the 
outside the Azara proper. Upsuch le Kaidish, but the opening was through the Azara, Hoichen Kaidish, and the outside, then the inside is Kaidish, because we go after the opening. However, the Gag is saying Choyl, the Gag is Choyl, the Salkadaita, the Rishagag is saying, Shavim le Karko, Azara, Havle Mechilois, if speaking the Gag is Shavit le Karko, these would be subterranean uh, 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 pathways. Lam Rav Yachan and Mechilois, Lainis Kadashu. The mechilas are in kodesh. So, in other words, you have a problem over here. You want to tell me the following. You want to tell me that you have a lishka that's built outside the chayil, and you have it's psuach to the kodesh. So it, then it's kodesh, right? Then it's kodesh, right? Why is it kodesh? It's kodesh because it's opening over here. Fred the Gemara, if it's gag, it's slimech to azara, then it, 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 it's then it's bechayil. It's outside. The azara is here. It's outside over here. And anything underneath here would be chayl, not kodesh. Despite the fact that it's open to the kodesh, it would be chayl. Because again, Balkari. in other words, you want to, uh, Balkari would go ahead. If a coin is so carry, you have to exit this way. In other words, you're saying the following, that you're telling me this, the purpose of this, this uh, Mishnah is to tell me that you always go after the opening. You don't go after the location of the chamber. You go after the opening of the chamber. If it's op- open to kodesh, even despite the fact that it's in chayl, it's kodesh. If it's open, if it's located in Kaidesh, but it's open to Chayel, it's considered Chayel. The guy guys say it over here, he tells me it's Shabbos. Now, we want to have a universal uh, shot in this Mishnah. So it's speaking where what? With the floor is always equal. Fred the Gemara, if the floor is always equal in the latter case, correct? And you're telling me it's outside, it's right, then the, underneath it has a din of a Mechila. It doesn't have a din of a Lishka. A Mechila is Chayel, not Kaidesh. But you just told me if it's open to Kaidesh, it is Kaidesh. Mm-hmm. So it's problematic. You're shot in the ratio because it is safer, right? You want to say the ratio, the reason it's Kaidesh is because it's equal to the floor of the Azara and has a din of the floor in the safe. It doesn't work in terms of going ahead yeah. and saying if it's Luch of Kaidesh, it's Kaidesh. It shouldn't be Kaidesh. Again, that that is the that that is the halacha. However, however, that's the mitzvah. However, we're having a problem now because you because you're telling me that that it's speaking in a in a hechetimtsa in a way where the it's equal. Ihochi one more time. Aim a seifa benuyis bechayl. If the chamber is built bechayl, ubsuchas lekaidesh. However, it opens lekaidesh. Then toichin kaidesh inside will be kaidesh. You can eat kach in there, so on and so forth. The gaga saying chayl. However, the gaga is chayl. And then we have a din of Mechila. And you just told me it is Kaidesh. When did he say it's Mechila's a choil? Only when they open up the Harabayas. When do we say that what? That this is Kaidesh, where it's opening, it's opening to the Azara. Fred Gmar, Matani Rabbi Yochan, Naimah, Mechila's, Mitachas, a Hechel choil. Mechila's underneath the Hechel is choil, and Hechel is obviously Kaidesh. That even though it's located in the Hechel, which is Kaidesh, it's open the Chayel, whatever the doorway swings, it seems to the Chayel, it's it's what it is. It is Chayel, and you can't eat Kach in there. Tashma. It just says Vagaga Kaidesh. It's speaking about the it's speaking about the, the Hechel. Rashi says Vagaga Kaidesh, Gaga Shal Hechel. This is the Gaga of the Hechel. Now, you told me above, guys, that the Hechel is different. You told me Shleima. So what are you asking the Hechel for? Gaga Kaidesh. If it's speaking about the Gaga Hechel, you told me Dabar Melech was Mitzava Shloima. Are you there, Kaddish Baruch Hu? So Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Yosef said, "What are you asking me from the Hechel to the, the Gaga?" So what's the Kash over here? So Rashi, let's see Rashi. You have to see Rashi to answer the Kash. Toshma the Gaga Kaidesh, Gaga Shel Hechel. The Sefer the Hod of Yehudi. The Hachal Eimotzi Lishnuya Kedal El Mehechel Nasev Inish. Rabbi Yosef said, "You're sitting in the Hechel and asking question." The Gaga like Siv Bikra. Guys, if you take a look above, look at this. Look at the second wide line. Vayitin davar shlomo beno es tavnas ha'ulam es batov es ganzagav is it's 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 oitzra is v'ali yisav chadar doesn't anything about roofs, right? It doesn't say anything about roofs. Good. That's that's why it's not a kasha. So, however, the gaga is kaidish tashma. The gaga kaidish kasha and rab. Fed gemar v'tisber v'katani agen alo. These roofs of the heichel ain oichlin shom kachik gedoshim. You can't eat kachik gedoshim there. You can't shech kachim kalim there. So you have a problem. If you're telling me that it's miskadoshu with the kedusha of the azara, why in the world can't you go ahead why and shech there and eat there? Well, kasha gaga kodesh. If you tell me you can't shech there eat there, why do you mean gaga kodesh? So I'm rav chamo bar gulio lo oisin beis amos. 
part of the Gagos Kodesh for the two Amis. Outside, outside. They kept rulers there. And these rulers have been of a Klisharis. They were, one was an Amma, one was an Amma, one was an Amma and a Hefe Etzba, one was an Amma and a Full Etzba. These two, these rulers, they had over there, they kept up there. So that area was Kodesh. So Gaga Kodesh doesn't mean on the whole Gag, it means in the one area where they store these things. Right, but the rest of it was what was coil like Rav. So when it said Gaga Kodesh is only partially a part of that rooftop for these Kalim. Now, what, what do they use these Kalim for? None. Beis Amis Hoya Bishushan Abira. Now, the, the, this was called, it was called Shushan Abira because outside it was very in Yanni Diyama. They had a picture of Shushan because Kairish allowed them to rebuild the base of So they, they had a picture of Shushan Abira there. Achas al Kerem is Rachas one on the uh, northeast side, the Achas al Kerem is Rachas and one on the northwest side. So there were two of them. I think I said three, I mean two. Zushal Kerem is Rachas Tsvainis, Haisa Yisrael Shal Moshe, Gatsi Esper. Moshe's was six, this was six and a half. That was a full, so it was six and one. It was more, six tfachim and one etzba. Nimsa yaseri al shal moisha etzba, full etzba. Lama hayu, achaz dela spetach. Why do you have two, one bigger, one smaller? Shal ya umanim noitlin biktana. The umanim, they would go ahead and they would, they would measure out, they're going to provide using an, uh, an ama of, of six tfachim. Umaxirin, but when they would go ahead and pay up, they pay with the gedolah. They pay with a larger amount. Why would they do that? Initially, lovely big meila. In other words, they we, you want to go ahead and give any fraction more to base on mikdash because you don't have a problem of being moil. So you, let's say Moshe's was six tefachim. This would be six, six tefachim and a half, or six tefachim and one. Good. That so that's what they used it for to ensure that there would be meila. The question is why you need a half and a one? Why should you just have a half, right? Well, uh, with Tati Lomeli, why do you want to hear from one of one? Achas the Katsu the Hava, the one that was a half was used for measuring gold and silver. It was very precious. So you would measure out using, they would say, I will provide for you a length of Moshe's, which was uh, one Amma or six Tvachim. And then when they came to pay off, they'd have to pay six and, and a half, a half for Etzba. Achas the Binyana, one the, for, for, uh, for the actual building, which again was a full, a full Etzba. Tanan, hachalonis vayve chayma kilifnim. The chalonis, the Mishnah said, and the thickness of the walls are considered lifnim. Now, bishnim hachalonis and mishkacha so the shavu the karka azara. Very good. You have chalonis. The azara went up. Can say that the chalonis were equal to it, but the vayve chayma, vayve chayma. How can you tell me that's equal to azara? It's a wall. Vayve chayma kilifnim. Bishnim hachalonis mishkacha so the shavu the karka. I'm sorry. Al vayve chayma hechi mishkacha so. Think about it. The hechel is forty forty hamas high. So and you just told me that why well, it's, it's not Kodesh. Meshkach is the Bar Shura, a Bar Shura. One wall within another wall. The Siv, it says, Vayavel Chel V'Chayma, Hashem made the ramp and the wall mourn at the time of the Churvin. V'am Rabbi Acha, V'Temer Rabbi Chanina, Shura Bar Shura. In other words, there's two walls. There's an inner wall, and that inner wall was was equal to the Azara. That's what it says. This Kadashu was speaking about the inner wall, not the outer wall. <laughs> says the Mishnah. Okay. We're going to see something very interesting, guys. I always learned, I mean, until, until I, I knew I was wrong, when you say the carbon Pesach can be eaten with two Chaburis. So I always thought one Chaburi eats a carbon Pesach, and the other Chaburi eats a carbon Pesach. But, but, but what's the Chiddush there? <laughs> if you think about it, what's the Chiddush, correct? You know, you guys get together with your family, I get together with my family, two eat. Okay, so now, in fact, what's under discussion is two Chaburis eating one carbon Pesach. Two chaburis eating one carbon pesach. But they can't eat, the chaburis can't go from one to another. That would be yaitza. You can't go from one chabur to another chabura. You got to stay with your chabura. Good? Says the Mishnah. Two chaburis that were eating in the same house. Two chaburis that were eating in the same house. Look at Rashi, fellas. Shte chaburis, shte chaburis, shahayo oichlis pesach echa bebayasecha. One pesach in one house. But two separate chaburis, they're in the same, under the same roof, and they took a carbon pesach and they divided up. One family has ten people, the other one has ten people. There are twenty kesesim in this carbon pesach. One carbon pesach suffices for two. They don't have to eat it all together. They can eat it as two separate chaburis. Two chaburis. 
Elu hoichmes pneim helech loichlin, Elu hoichmes pneim helech loichlin. Rashi says they don't have to go ahead and uh, and go ahead and and lie down separately in its tzrichim lahasev elu kineged elu li yois nirim kichabur achas elu v'shoyin lahapich pneim elu elach ve'elu elach v'afilu nirim kishtei chabur esleich baslam. We don't care. They can eat. They don't have to. They don't have to be. Lo- you don't have to be able to see that they're saying chabura. They have to be in the same locale, but they can even look away from each other. That's Rashi's pshat. That is Rashi's pshat. I I learned like the Rambam guys that two chaburis they should not look look they should look away from each other. So it should be clear that the two chaburis. That would make sense, right? In other words, you're sitting in the same house, guys. You're eating the same karm pesach. What defines you is different. I would say they turn away from each other. Rashi's saying that no, they don't have, they don't have, they, they could turn away from each other. They don't have to, they don't have to look as if they're together. They, they, they can turn away from each other. Would be the same family as two couples. Absolutely. Where, it depended where you're in there with, depended who you right. who you went ahead and and and, and went with. Okay. The the hamecham be and the, the the water that was used, the hot water that was used to dilute the wine could be in the middle. And let's say the shamish is a Jewish and he's part of one Chabura. When he's going to go ahead and dilute, let's say, so he's in Chabura A and he's going to the Mechan Chabura B, he shouldn't be chewing because then it appears that he's going ahead to join the other Chabura. So therefore, uh, he should go ahead and close his mouth and turn his, turn his face until he comes to his Chabura. And then he can eat. And the Kala, he should can turn away and eat. The Kali can turn away and eat, and we'll discuss this. Now, we have two Pesukim, guys. Masnis and Mani, Rev Yehudahi, the Tanya. Listen to this Pesukim. Ala Abotim, Mashma, two houses. Asher Yochlu, Mashma, more than two people. Oso, Mashma, one carbon. We have two plural, guys. Botim is plural, houses. Yochlu, they should eat, plural. Oso, carbon Pesach, one. Yes, mashma. It's mashma what? Two houses and two people and one carbon. pesach nechal The pesach is eaten can be two chaburis. And when it says it says it's going on the on the on the people. Yochlu they the people can eat in two chaburis. Yochlu ye oichel oichel b'shtei mekomos. I might think they can eat in two separate houses. Hamad loimar b'bayis echad b'bayis echad yochal. And by in one house yochal. It should be what? It should be eaten. So therefore, guys, the plural of bottom means chaburis, but it has to be eaten what? In, okay, nimsa, what, what does Rabbi Yehuda hold? Two chaburis in one Pesach, correct? But they can't eat in two different places. They got to be in the same place. By this effort, they have to be in the same place. So in our scenario, uh, Ari, Mendy, and I, and Avrami could be over here, Heshi, Benji, Srili, Michoel, and Mordechai and Dov could be over there, and this would be the dividing line over here. This would be the dividing line. So we can't go ahead and go from here to there. We can be in the same house, but we can't go from here to there. Good. That would be, that's the sheet of Rabbi Yehuda. And we're going to see the way he darshins the Torah. Okay. I might think that what? That's the way he darshins it. It says a Yochel in the Torah. It's, he gets up and he's eating a kezayis on the side of the tanner. He's stuck, guys. Because once he leaves there, he's leaving his rod, his chabura. If he's smart, let him fill his share of the current pace of right there because he can't move. Then they can come sit next to him to go ahead and, and keep the chabura intact. That's the sheet of Rabbi Yehuda. Reb Shimon and Shimon says no. Al abotim asher yochlu oso behem. It's going on the carbon pesach. It's not going on the people. Malamit she oichel oichel b'shnei mekomos. It teaches me that you're able to go ahead what and eat a filu in two places. As long as you began eating the carbon pesach in one spot, you could take it to another spot because the the it's not going on a chabura. There's no such thing as a chabura according to him. It's just eating the pesach. So now. I might think like Rav Shimon, you eat with two chaburos. In one house, it, it's eaten. One chabura, but it can be in two different places. 
So it comes like this, guys. Two chaburois and one Pesach. Rabbi Yudha says it works. Rabbi Shimon says it doesn't work. You can't have what? You can't have two chaburis. One person and two places. One person, Rabbi Yehuda says, no, you can't eat in two separate places. Rabbi Yehuda says, yes, you could eat. Rabbi Shimon says, yes, you could eat in two separate places. Now, what's the Svar Samach like this? Now, the Torah, is, we have it often in Shas, something, yesh aim le or yesh aim le mikra. Do you go after the way it's written, or do you go after the way it's read? Yesh aim le means you go after the way it's written. It's written, yud, aleph, chaf, lamid. So we, we mean, Bebayas echad yochal, in one house, he should eat, right? So it's going on the eater. Good. If you learn yesh im lemikra, the way it's pronounced, then bebayas echad yechol, it shall be eaten. It's going on the carbon Pesach. So the machloikis between Rav Yehuda and, and, and uh, Rav Shimon is what is the Pesach referring to? Is it referring to the people or is it referring to the carbon Pesach? It's referring to the people, then you can have two chaburis. If it's referring to the carbon Pesach, then you can only uh, one, one, then you cannot have two chaburis, but you can have two places, as, as we'll see. Says the Gemara. The Mikamifli, what's the machlaikis between Rabbi Yehuda and Reb Shimon? Rabbi Yehuda Sava Yesh Emlimasaris. You go after the way it's written, Rabbi Shimon Sava Yesh Emlimikra. Let's see Rashi, guys. Says Rashi, second line from the top. Bukusava Yesh Emlimikra, the way it's written. And it's read, and it's read Ye Ochel, a Pesach Koi. It's going on the Korban Pesach. Beloya Gavra, it's not going on the people. Kloimar, Ikka Tchilas Achilasai, the Ikka eating should be Tehi Bechabur Achas and one Chabura. This is Rav Shimon. There's no two Chaburas. Beloya Yischalik the Shnei Chaburas. You should not go ahead and take the Korban Pesach and divide it up into two Chaburas. Abel Gavra, the person, Ibog Iboy Koma Hacha Ba'azal Hachal Hachal Loi Kapur Rachmana. If he wants to eat it over here, then he can go eat it over in other places as well. Because the Torah is Makhbar on him, it's only Makhbar on the Korban. When we read it as what? As Ye'ochel. Ha-Pesach, V'lo Ye'ochel Agavra. That's it. So guys, it's, it's, it's very nice. It's very Bishma. Loit Reb Shimon, we say Yesh Eim Le Mikra, the way it's written. It's going on the Korban Pesach. So when it says, when the Pesach says, Ala Botem, Ala Botem Asher Yochlu Oisoi, each person in what? In two houses, right? But Bayis Echad Ye'ochel, it can only be in one. In one chabur, it can be eaten, but it can be eaten in two different places. Rabbi Yehuda, on the other hand, goes yesh ein lemesoris. It's written as what? Is ala botem ashayochel or so? It's two houses, two people, and one carbon. But the bias echin yochal, it tells me that the carbon uh, the carbon pesach yochal is going on the people. They should eat it what in one place, but it could be botem two separate chaburis. So according to according to Rabbi Yehuda, guys. Two chaburis. So according to Rav Shimon, guys, look at me. One chabura. According to Rav Shimon, uh, according to Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda, the Korban Pesach cannot go from place to place. According to Rav Shimon, it could go from place to place. That's the machlokes. Now we're gonna have a few nachiminis. The Gemara is gonna bring in. Okay, let's let's see the Gemara. Hayyoshvin. They were sitting. So it's one Chabura, guys. And the Mechitza now comes down. Now, so now the two separate Chaburas, correct? According to Yehuda, they can continue to eat. According to Shimon, because you only have one Chabura. So guys, you're sitting together, one Chabura, right? Comes a wall down in between you. There's two Chaburas now, right? Yes? But like Rabbi Yehuda, can you have two chaburis? Yes, you can. Like Rabbi Shimon, can you have two, two chaburis? You cannot. So that, according to Rabbi Shimon, you won't be able to eat. According to Rabbi Yehuda, you won't be able to eat. Okay, another another case. They were sitting and eating two, two separate, they were sitting two separate psachim. They were eating. They were sitting, two people, groups were sitting. They were eating two separate carbon psachim. And now, all of a sudden, the wall came down. So now what, what was two makomos, Became one makom. Like Rabbi Yehuda, it doesn't work. Like Rabbi Shimon, it would work. Good, says the Gemara. Like Rabbi Shimon, it would work. Like Rabbi Yehuda, ain't no oichel oichel b'shem mekaimis. Right? In oichel yas. Okay. Ain't no oichel oichel b'shem mekaimis. I read it wrong one more time. Like Rabbi Yehuda, ain't no oichel oichel b'shem mekaimis. Oichel. 
The Dibri Oymen ain't no Eichel Eichel Bishlem Kremis, ain't Eichel. Yosef Rav Kahana, Rav Kahana was sitting, Kapasha Le Mifshat, and he was pushed these things as Dava Pasha, that if the wall comes down and separates us to Chaburis, if the wall comes up, it's considered one Makan, right? He, he said it's the Dava Pasha. I'm only Rav Ashi, Rav Kahana, with Hiboy Lo Hiboy, you should ask it as a question. Silik Mechitza, if you remove the Mechitza, Basisa Mechitza, if you make a Mechitza, Mihabi commit base Makarma, Sukha base Chaburo, I stami, I lie. That's in other words, don't say as a double pasha, ask it as a shayla. In fact, Rav Ashi says, in fact, we do ask it as a shayla, and teku, it remains shver. So we have machloikis again, we pass in, it seems to be like a Yehuda, that the Karm Pesach can be eaten with two, two chaburis, but albeit, you can't leave the place, right? You can't leave the place. We said the kala can turn her face around. A kala, hoi feches es kinela, my timer. Amar of Chia Barab, Amar of Yachin, if they see Busha, it's a Busha. People tend to look at the kala. They said, I'm not allowed to look at the kala. They're probably looking at a jewelry. It was a Hungarian wedding. Right? They're probably they're looking at, at the jewelry. Guys, if you're married off your daughters, trust me, it doesn't. Uh, the sons, how much jewelry you have to buy? You got to buy for the. To get engagement and then the ring and then there's the yikiru it's it's mamish it's unbelievable okay i, I went off from these things mm-hmm. <laughs> came to the house of Yitzhak. they said to Rav Huna Yitzhak, mash mech, mash, 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 what's your name my name is Rav Huna. Amru, the Yasef Mara, Puya, sit down on the bed. Yosef, he sat down. You know, love Kasuk, they gave him a case of wine. Kibla, he accepted it right away. The Chadzim, the Kibla, the Chadzim, no. Ushtia betrays him, no. He was in the Kabbalah with the first time and he drank with two gulps. Well, he had the Ape, he didn't turn away his face. And this is why we brought this in. Amru, they told him, my time of Chris, look at Rapuna. Why did they call you Rapuna? In other words, usually somebody asks you your name, you say, what? Yehuna. Samalu, Bala Shemani, that's my name. Look at Rashi, the first white line. From the time of a small, currently Rav Huna. They called him Rav Huna. Right? When, when he was a, he was a baby, they called him Rav Huna. No, my time at Kiyomel Chani Yasev Apuya Yasev. Why do you sit down on the bed right away? Without, it might be considered a little haughty, I guess. I'm a little. Kol Ma Shiyomel Chabal Abayis Asa. Whatever Chabal Abayis tells you, do you do? My time at Kiyomel Kasa Kibla Bechatzim. You didn't refuse. I'm a little. Misarvim the cotton. They misarvim the gadol. You refuse the cotton. You don't refuse a gadol. Right. Why don't we say by look at Tysus? Amos Avin the Godel. Am I the Yosef of Puri Leishach? Let me. We should name this. Why didn't he tell him? Why didn't he say that in the bed? He said he called Masha Isa Al Baisa. Why didn't he say that? You're not Misar of that. The Amos Avin the Yeshiva Puri of Dovah Gases. The Yeshiva Puri is it seems to be a haughty thing. Ushrarahu. It's a princely like act. Lahoyol Leishach. Not for that. No, so you wouldn't sit down on the bed if not for that reason. Then he said, "My time, Ashisha betrays him. Why don't you, you take two gulps?" I'm a little bit Tanya. Ashoyis to koyse b'vasacha. Someone goes ahead and and and, and drinks one gulp. How you say gargan? He's a klutton. Shnayim is there a Two is normal. It's nice. Shloisha, if you sip it three times, megasi ruach here about gaiva. My time, Why did why did you not turn away? I'm a little kala feches paneha, but not another person. It's not required to turn away. Now, if you remember, Rishmov Rav Yosi, he's of his stomach and somebody else's stomach, and an ox appears underneath him. You might remember that Gemara. For some reason, a lot of people remember that Gemara. <laughs> anyway, so Rishmov Rav Yosi was corpulent. Iklo lebei Rav Shimon Rav Yosi came to Rav Shimon Rav Yosi ben Lakunya. Yovli kasa kabli bechadzimni. They gave it to him. He took it right away. The shashi bechadzimni took it down in one gulp. We don't say it by a small case. The sweet wine, the crazy rough for a person with a big stomach. So therefore, I'm able to gulp it down in one call. I'm Rav Huna. Bnei Chabur nechnas b'shloisha. This is speaking about people coming to eat pashas coming to Karim Pesach according to the Ben Chanano. They come to eat. Now there's a waiter. How how many how Many people as he have to come in before he starts serving. If three come in, he has to serve them. And even if one is left as they leave, he has to serve them. He comes in the time that he's supposed to come in. 
Daila, and they tell him initially that they're going to leave that what that is only one person left. You have to pay him for staying late. Tomorrow we begin Aisha. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.